blood flow restriction training, weed and hookers. Bet you didn't see that coming. The irony is not lost to me that I'm talking about a blood flow restriction program and weed and hookers in the same sentence. However, blood flow restriction training is just one form of training program that people are using and explaining online that you can use to build muscle. And true, blood flow restriction training where you cut off the circulation temporarily to a muscle might potentially help you build muscle. But it's not the bread and butter basics for building muscle. There's other programs and other plans that are going to work way better whether you're trying to build your biceps, build your glutes, build your chest or do whatever it is that you want to do to change your body composition. The example I like to use with blood flow restriction training or any type of training program that isn't the trial and tested method of just basic hypertrophy programming is if I give you 2000 euro and tell you you need to go spend money on a car. You can do whatever you want with that 2000 euro but you should probably go and buy a second hand car with it. You need something that gets you from A to Z but you can take that 2000 euro and you can go blow it all on weed and hookers. That's what I'm talking about. It's your money. You can do whatever the fuck you want with it. But if you do that, you're probably going to have to go back and save to get another 2,000 euro to get a second-hand car anyways. Blood flow restriction training is exactly the same. Any form of training method that's outside of a basic bodybuilding hypertrophy program for building muscle is exactly the same. It's the weed and hookers of training. Meaning that you can go do blood flow restriction training or any other type of advanced training, but if you're trying to build muscle, you're going to have to come back to the bread and butter basics anyways. Now, if you want to experiment with it, by all means, go and do it. But if you want to build muscle, focus on your hypertrophy parameters. 8 to 10 reps, 3 to 4 sets, 60 to 90 second rest, compound movements, maybe with some isolation movements in there, or some functional bodybuilding movements if you want to keep your function as you build muscle. And hell, if you want to add in the blood flow restriction training with it, do that. But make it 10 or 20% of your training and not 80-90%. The equivalent is spending 1800 euro on a car and 200 euro on weed and hookers. You can have both. Just spend most of your money on the car. Training is the same. You can do blood flow restriction training. Just spend most of your time doing a hypertrophy program that's going to help you build muscle. Blood flow restriction training, any advanced training. If you're not a professional bodybuilder or professional bikini athlete where you're looking for those marginal gains, stick with the bread and butter basics of muscle hypertrophy to build muscle. So what are your thoughts? Have you tried blood flow restriction training? Have you tried any other advanced training method when you're trying to build muscle when really you should have been doing a hypertrophy program? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you see, be sure to hit that follow and subscribe button for videos coming each and every week. Brian Key Fitness would like to assure everybody that no weed or hookers were harmed in the making of this video.